Making its way down the canal, the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy with the tin bits. The Masterton Memorial Trophy is awarded annually under the trusteeship of the Professional Hockey Writers Association to the National Hockey League player who best exemplifies the qualities of perseverance, sportsmanship, dedication to hockey. Cast winners, Ian LaPerriere, Jose Theodore, Steve Sullivan, and Jason Blake. And there he is. A score again by the Tim Betts. And there is the King Clancy Memorial Trophy. Give her the best The King Clancy Memorial Trophy is presented to the player who best exemplifies leadership qualities on and off the ice and has made a noteworthy humanitarian contribution in his community. A nominee is selected from each NHL club by vote of his, of his solo players, and the final selection is made by a special panel of judges. Doug Wade, Shane Doan, Ethan Morrow, and Vincent LeCavalier. And there is the Lady Bing Trophy. A story by the Tin Box from Tim Hortons. The Lady Bing Trophy awarded annually to the player or judge who have exhibited the best type of sportsmanship and gentlemanly conduct combined with a high standard of playing ability. <laughs> is voted by the members of the Professional Hockey Writers Association. Marty Saint Louis, Marty Saint and Pavel Dotsu are past winners. And there is the Calder Memorial Trophy. Oh, that's stealthy. I need the stealthy. I'm looking down. <laughs> and coming down slowly is the James Norris Memorial Trophy, that's sorted by the Tim Bits, from Tim Hortons, a proud sponsor of today's event. Norris Memorial Trophy, awarded annually to the defensive player who demonstrates throughout the season the greatest all-around ability in the position is led upon by the, the by the Professional Hockey Writers Association. Past winners: Nicholas Lipstrom, Duncan Keith, Zdeno Chara, and Nick Lipstrom. And there's the William Jennings Trophy. Tim Bits having fun? <laughs> William Jennings trophy is awarded annually to the goalkeeper or goalkeepers having played a minute on 25 games for the team with the fewest goals scored against it. Roberto Luongo, Corey Schneider, Martin Brodor, Tim Thomas, Manny Fernandez amongst past winners. <laughs> the Vezina. The Vezina Award. Vezina Trophy. 
Awarded annually to the goalkeeper judged to be the best in his position, selected by the general managers of each of the league's 30 clubs. Tim Thomas, Ryan Miller, Tim Thomas again, and Martin Brodeur. And here come the Timbits with the Ted Lindsay Award. How many frickin' trophies are there? Here is the Ted Lindsay Award, presented annually to the NHL's most outstanding player and voted by fellow members of the National League Players Association. Daniel Sabine and Alex Ovechkin, three years in a row. And here's the Hart Memorial Trophy! Let me try and do this at the same time. There's the heart with the Timbits. The Hart Memorial Trophy awarded annually to the player judged to be the most valuable to his team. And now the Jack Adams Award. Jack Adams. Jack Adams Award presented annually to the NHL coach. A judge who has contributed the most to his team's success as voted upon by the National Hockey League Broadcasters Association. <laughs> Past winners Dan Biles, Rod Dave Tippett, Claude Julian, and Bruce Boudreau. And a new trophy, the General Manager of the Year. GM of the Year Award presented to the general manager judged by his fellow GMs who are the best excelled in his role. That's the winners Mike Gillis and Don Maloney. And here is the President's Trophy. Great job by the Tin Bits from Tim Hortons. Let's give a round of applause for the Tin Bits. This is a very long Tim Hortons commercial. We just scored the President's Trophy. The President's Trophy, of course, presented to the NHL in 1985-86 by the League Board of Governors to recognize the team, compiling the top regular season record. And here is the Prince of Wales Trophy. Great job, Timbits. We didn't have to do this. Well, about the Prince of Wales, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, donated this trophy to the National Hockey League in 1924. That's winners of course last year, the Boston Bruins, Philadelphia Flyers, Pittsburgh Penguins, and before that, the Penguins again. And there is the Clarence Campbell Trophy. Trophy was presented by the member clubs in 1968 for perpetual competition by the NHL in recognition of the services of Clarence S. Campbell, president of the NHL from 1946 to 1977. And there is the con Smythe being taken away. Con Smythe was synonymous with hockey in Toronto for five decades. And ladies and gentlemen, coming down with the tin bits, our great friends, the Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup has arrived. Escorted by Mike Bolt.
Again, we ask that you make some way, clear the way for the Stanley Cup. As Mike Bolt is going to lift it up and go put it on the it's going to bring it over here. Ladies and gentlemen, clear away for the Stanley Cup. There is the Stanley Cup. Where, where? The Stanley Cup. Notably. The oldest trophy competed for by professional athletes in North America. Cup was donated in, in 1892 by Sir Frederick Arthur Stanley, Lord Stanley of Preston and son of Earl of Derby. He purchased a trophy for 10 guineas. That's only $50 at that time. To present it to the championship hockey club of the Dominion of Canada, the first team ever awarded the Stanley Cup was the Montreal Amateur Athletic Association in 1883. The Montreal Canadiens have won a record 23 Stanley Cups since the formation of the NHL. They also won in 1916 with Toronto just in second at 13. The Habs also hold the record for most consecutive championships with five accomplished between the years 1956 and 1960 inclusive. Each year upon presentation of the trophy to the championship team, a summer celebration begins as each of the organization's players and staff enjoys 24 hours with the Stanley Cup, a tradition which has no rival in any sport. In its many years of existence, the Stanley Cup has traveled around the world, including stays in Russia, Japan, Switzerland, as well as the top mountain peaks throughout the Rockies and inside igloos in Canada's newest territory. Court's past winner, the Boston Bruins, Chicago Blackhawks, Pittsburgh Penguins, Detroit Red Wings, and of course, the Ottawa Senators.